Dime lo que tú quieres de mi coqueta. Sé lo que te gusta es salir y se suelta. Cuando va la reggaeton pa' mí, que muñeca. Me gusta salir y se lo sí. Hey, what's going on, guys? We are back in the beautiful Isla Verde Beach. This is one of the most popular destinations, and I always visit here each and every visit because this place is just fantastic. It's near the airport, um, SJU San Juan Airport. And this, if, you, if this is your first time coming to Puerto Rico, actually probably many other times, this is where you're probably gonna end up at because this is one of the locations in Isla Verde. The area is called Isla Verde. This is one of the locations that all the hotels are here. You're literally five minutes from the airport and um, one of the beautiful beaches of Puerto Rico. Like I think top, rated top in Puerto Rico. Now today is a gloomy day, so we probably didn't get the most epic blue water. It is, it is hazy, um, but nevertheless, as you can see, it's about five o'clock now. We still have a lot of action happening here in Isla Verde Beach. This is my favorite destination to come to, and I always stop here and check it out. So Isla Verde Beach literally has it all. You can get, you can walk the actual avenue, Isla Verde Avenue, and get anything to eat, to drink. You have vendors that come to you at the beach. There's local parking on the street. And if you can't find parking on the street, you can just go to the CVS near Walgreens. And the parking there to me, in my past experience, is the best priced. Um, this is an epic location. On the weekends, it gets so packed that you're not gonna find parking on the street. However, um, during the week, like a day like today, it is Wednesday when we're here today. It is a little bit quieter, but still a lot of people. But the water here is just beautiful. Let me take you up in the air and also show you the jet skis that you can rent here, along with banana boats and some parasailing. So check this out. If you are staying in an Airbnb or you're gonna be traveling from place to place, all the beaches in Puerto Rico rent chairs like this here, $4 for a chair and $10 for an umbrella. That can get pretty costly if you're gonna do this every single day. So typically what I recommend is you stop at uh, Walmart, for example, there's no Target here in Puerto Rico, but Walmart or CVS, but you're gonna get the best bargain in Walmart. Buy a chair, they're about $12, and a Tommy Bahama umbrella, it's $20 and you can use it all week long or for your entire destination. And then once you're done, you can just leave it at the apartment if you're staying in an Airbnb 
and the next guest will appreciate it. But that's a hack that I always do when traveling to San Juan, Puerto Rico, and staying at an Airbnb versus a hotel. Or even if I'm gonna be staying at a hotel, but I know that I'm gonna be traveling from beach to beach. So that concludes our trip to Isla Verde. Not the best, most beautiful day, quite overcast, like I mentioned earlier. But nevertheless, we had a great time here with the family. Um, really got to just enjoy the breeze and also enjoy everything that this beach has to offer, which is quite a lot. This beach is a fantastic beach. And uh, that's all I can keep saying. You better check it out because if you're coming to Puerto Rico, this is a must do if you're not staying here already. All right, guys, until next time, peace.